Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invites you to enjoy life. Life with Luigi, a comedy show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carol Nash, with Alan Reed as Pasquale. friends, Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum is a typically American product that appeals to people of all ages and nationalities in all parts of our country. And the Wrigley people feel that Life with Luigi is a typically American radio program, a friendly, enjoyable show that sort of symbolizes the American spirit of tolerance and goodwill. So the makers of refreshing, delicious Wrigley's Spearmint Gum are glad to bring you Life with Luigi each week and have you join them in this pleasant half-hour's entertainment. And now let's read Luigi's letter as he writes about his adventures in America to his Mama Basco in Italy. Dear Mamma Mia, in America everybody is very excited now because in a few days it's going to be Thanksgiving. That's a big day when everybody is glad he's American except the turkey. <laughs> and a Thanksgiving he wishes he was a chicken. <laughs> Yeah, and a Thanksgiving, everybody is eat the turkey. Also, people eat the cranberry sauce, nuts, soups, fruits, vegetables, bread, coffee, candy, pie, everything. Mamma mia, we eat so much, I'm a think on a Thanksgiving night, this country must gain at least 10 million pounds. <laughs> the last two years, I'm gonna have a Thanksgiving dinner with my countryman, Pasquale and his daughter, Rosa. Mamma mia, how that a rosa can eat. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised out of the ten million pounds America is add on a rosa is again a five a million. <laughs> but anyway, I'm a very excited to myself because this year I'm a thinking to make a Pasquale and a rosa a big turkey dinner myself. I'm a no got the money. So in a few days I was a thinking how I'm a could have get the money faster. So I go to my antique shop with a Sandy the newsboy, looking through the newspapers, and maybe I'm going to find some extra work, some... Uh, let me see now. Fry cooker. No. Geologist. What's that? No. Glass blower. Experienced. Huh, that's a funny. What experience a man needs to blow on a glass? That's a no good. Hard to wear, huh? Mr. Basco, why do you have to find an extra job? Because I'm going to make some extra money. I gotta make it the faster, Sandy, because I'm gonna wanna make a turkey dinner for Pasquale. What? Mr. Basco, the shoe should be on the other foot. Shoe should be on the other foot, then. Sure. Sandy, you silly. How am I looking with the two left shoes? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I don't get it, Mr. Basco. Mr. Pasquale has a whole restaurant full of food. Why should you make him a dinner? For a bigger reason, Sandy. If you know Pasquale's a food, you don't wanna have a dinner there. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm a joking, Sandy. You know, Pasquale is a brought to me to America. And no matter what he's sometimes tried to do to me, Sandy, I'm always thankful to him for that. Oh, everybody knows he brought you here just to marry his big fat daughter. Sandy, don't you call her that. Then why don't you marry her? Because she's a too big and a fat. <laughs> Come on, now let's read the paper. Uh, magazine salesman. How's that? No, that's no good. That's a day worker. Oh, here's something. That's just for me. Listen, Packers. Packers, you know what it is? No. There's no experience necessary. Good to pay for night worker. Pre-holiday rush, Daisy Jones, of Pike Company. 8 to 23, Adams. Mama me, I'm going to there right now. That's wonderful, Mr. Basco. few hours work a night and no experience. That's right up your alley. Is it not up in my alley, Sandy? No. No, I'm going to take a trolley car. It's two miles away. <laughs> Kugendall, nobody sent at the ad yet. How do you like that? I can't get a man to fill the job. And I'm going to be stuck right at the top of the seats. Well, there's no use getting excited, Mr. Uh. Kugendall. A few people are bound to show up. All right, all right. I'll be in the back. And if anybody does come in, don't let him get away. Sure. Ah, buck an hour. Why, when I was a kid... Uh, uh, hello. Oh. Is it this Daisy Jones of Pie Company? Yeah. Good. 
I'm Luigi Basco. Hey, you Daisy Johnson? Oh, no. I'm just a secretary. What did you want? Well, I had a nurse pepper is an ad for job. Oh. Well, I'll call the owner. Someone for the job! How do you do? How do you do? Huh? Hey, you. Hey, you Daisy Johnson? What? I'm a thought you would have been much prettier. <laughs> hey, what are you, a wise guy? Oh, please excuse me, Daisy. I'm, I'm a thought you was a lady. Oh, well, I'm glad you got over your first impression. So why are you calling yourself the Daisy Jones? Because my name is Clarence Kukendall. Oh. No, no I, I don't mean that. My slogan is, pies like mother used to make. How would it look if it read... Pies like Clarence Kukendall used to make. <laughs> I couldn't sell a pie in a million years. Why? Oh, you're not very familiar with American business, are you? You're new here, aren't you? No, no, no. I'm, I'm not this so new. I'm, I'm here over two years. So I had to make me second hand. <laughs> That's yeah. a joke about it. But I'm, I'm still no understand why Mother used to make a Daisy Jones of pies. Well, I'll tell you why. America's got a mother complex. The women are ganging up on us. Aunt Minnie's pancake flour, Mother White's cough syrup, Sister Hattie's flaky biscuits. I ate in my house for years and in my friends' houses. I got a product I'd like to patent, Mother's bicarbonate of soda. <laughs> you didn't enjoy growing up, did you, Mr... Clarence Kukendall. You mind if I'm a call you Daisy Jones? <laughs> Call me anything you like, as long as you start work. Oh, no, I'm not able to start the right now. I'm going to go to my night school. Night school? Oh, everything happens to me. Yeah, but I'm a thought that maybe I could have worked after school. Look, friend, the pies are baked all day. The place closes at midnight. you got to work now. All you got to do is stick pies in bins, and for that, you get a dollar an hour. Mama me, that's a lot of money, and I'm going to need it. Well, thank heaven somebody needs money. Oh, yeah. If I'm going to get enough until Thanksgiving, then I'm going to surprise my friend Pasquale with a big turkey dinner. All right, then. I'm going to help you out. Nobody's going to miss you if you skip night school a few days. Skip? I'm not that smart. You, you'll catch on. <laughs> Miss Strong, let's get a letter off to this gentleman's teacher. Here's a pen. <laughs> And I will gonna have to stay out until the Thanksgiving. I'm a god of the grip, and it's catching, so please nobody don't come to see me till I'm tell you. Signed, Luigi Basco. Well, that's too bad. Yeah, that's sure terrible. Terrible. Oh, However, please. class, as you probably noticed, there were quite a few mistakes in Mr. Basco's letter. Mr. Schultz, can you give me one? Well, if a man has got the grip, he shouldn't be writing letters. He should be resting. <laughs> no, 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 no. Mr. Horowitz. Well, was an error in grammar, I noticed. But maybe Luigi's got a hundred and three fever and he didn't know what he was saying. Well, it's nice of you to come to his defense. I suppose we should get on with our lesson. Uh, Miss Spalding, I noticed quite a few things. <laughs> yes? There were a few glaring errors in misplaced tenses and possessive pronouns, as well as definite backwardness in the phrasing of the sentences. And this... He humbled up the yeast of the letter. <laughs> Ooh, what a show-off, taking advantage of a man when he's lying in bed. Mr. Schultz, please. Olsen, could you write a better letter? Yo, I certainly could. Then please, do me a favor. Get pneumonia and send me one. <laughs> please, class, please. It's my fault. I shouldn't have brought the letter up as a subject of criticism. Poor Luigi with the grip. The class ain't the same without him. Yo, well, I feel just as badly. Who is taking care of Luigi? Pasquale is right next door to him. Oh, and that means Rosa. Poor Luigi, even if he recovers from his grip, he's going to fall right into Pasquale's grip. <laughs> it's not a thing to joke about, Schultz. Those grips are nasty things. Somebody's got to take care of Well, perhaps it isn't that bad. Maybe it's just a cold and not the grip. Oh, oh no, no, Miss Pauling. Oh, there is quite a difference. Uh. The grip, which is really the flu. <laughs> Caused by a virus, which can be staphylococci, streptococci, or pneumococci. <laughs> if they are also cocci, how comes they found Luigi? <laughs> all right, all right, class. Let's settle down now and get on with our lesson. Uh, Miss Spalding, 
Do you mind if I go over to Luigi and give him the regards from the class? Well, I think that would be very nice. But Schultz, Luigi said he's got it, but he's got it, it's catching. Go over and speak to Pasquale. He'll know what's going on. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, yeah, but wait. Oh, if Pasquale takes care of Luigi, he might be harboring a yearn to you. Impossible. There ain't a chum in the world that could stand living with Pasquale. <laughs> Mr. I class the delicatessen of the man himself. Pasquale, how is he? What is his temperature? How's the blood pressure? Did you call the doctor? Oh, well, take yeah. it easy, Ooh. Schultz. Wait, wait. Uh, Calm hmm. down. Relapse. <laughs> now, look, start all over again and tell me what's the word about a who's a who. Pasquale, don't you know Luigi ain't been to night school for two days already? Oh, it's about time he give up with that education of junk and settle down to being a homemade man. Pasquale, don't you even know he is sick? Sick? Wait a minute, Schultz. You trying to tell me Luigi is sick? No, I just came in to warn you the British are coming. <laughs> sure he's sick. He sent a note to school saying he's got the grip and it's catching. Well, maybe that's why he didn't tell me. He didn't want me to catch it. All right, you go, Schultz. I'm going to take care of everything. Well, goodbye, Pasquale. Right. I hope Luigi gets better. And if you catch it, I'm giving you my best wishes in advance. Thanks. <laughs> That's a funny thing. I could have swore Luigi was in his antique shop the last two nights. Is it something rotten or somewhere? And I think it's on the North Holstead Street. I think I'll go around the back way and surprise Luigi. Ah, there he is, getting ready to go out. Can't be very sick. Oh, he's coming out this way. I better go right in. Luigi, my friend. Hello, Luigi. Hello, hello. Oh, oh hello, Pasquale. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter, Luigi? You laughing from enjoyment or nervousness? No, no, this is nothing, Pasquale. I'm, uh, please, please excuse me. I'm going to go somewhere. Do you, uh, night school? Yeah, 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 to my night school. Uh, how you getting along in the night school? Oh, fine, fine. You, uh, learning a lot? Oh, yeah, yeah, a lot. How much is 80 and 80? 160. Well, I ain't got my ad in the machine, so I guess you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Luigi, whatever you do, you know Pasquale has an eye watching all the time. 24 hours a day... 368 days a year. I don't know what you're talking about, Pasquale. You don't, eh? No. Well, all right. Go, go, go to school. I thank you. Goodbye. Hey, uh, don't forget a Thanksgiving dinner. Huh? You're having it with Rosie and me, ain't you? Oh, uh, uh, well, uh, well, Pasquale, if you expect me for dinner, you better not. What? Well, what I mean is, Pasquale, I'm a, I'm a, don't prepare nothing, huh? You see, I'm... It's funny, I can't explain it now. I'm late already. That's funny. Other times, your school can wait. Listen, every year I make you Thanksgiving a dinner. What's the matter now? You got somebody else? No, 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 no. But, uh, but suppose I'm, uh, well, suppose I'm uh, had a turkey myself. What? You make a dinner? Sure. Listen, Luigi, turkeys are worth the 70 cents a pound, or you're worth the 10 cents a pound. There's a more chance that turkeys are going to have a Luigi for Thanksgiving and dinner. <laughs> Come on, forget everything. I'll make you dinner. No, no, Pasquale. Don't make a dinner. You mean you're turning me down just like that? No, Pasquale, please. Don't be mad. Is it supposed to be a super... Well, uh... I, I, I'm a don't want to give it away. I, I'm doing something, and, and I'm a very happy to be doing what I'm a doing, but I'm a can't tell you what I'm a doing and to tell you what I'm a doing is it done. <laughs> All right, you do what you do until you're done doing it. Go. Oh, three million words in the English language. Stop beating the one word to death. No. No, Pascal, please, please don't get mad. Believe me, I'm a... Oh, who is this so late? Now I'm going to make a phone call. I'm a... Well... Well, I see. I'm no one to do. Okay. Don't want me. I'm going. Goodbye. You like the nerve of that pop squeak. Oh, I just can't hold myself in. I gotta listen to that phone call. 
Hello, Daisy Jones? Daisy Jones, a dirty double across the rock and two times. <laughs> uh, Daisy Jones, uh, please excuse me, I'm late. Sure, sure, I'm coming down. How you like that? Already he's a henpecked. What? The? You got a pie just for me? Oh, thank you. Hmm, she's a cooker for him, too. <laughs> well, if a Daisy Jones is a cooker and a his a turkey for him, I'm gonna cook a his a goose. <laughs> Speak. After all, I've done it for him. Oh, I'm so mad. Stupid little cabbage pussy. Oof. Hello? Hello, a board of education? Uh, this is Pasquale, a very good friend of Luigi Bosco. I'm going to want to speak to the hooky department. <laughs> Before we return to life with Luigi, I'd like to mention the enjoyment you can get by chewing delicious Wrigley's Spearmint Gum. In your home, at your work, almost any time and anywhere, just slip a stick of Wrigley's Spearmint into your mouth and chew it for as long as you want. The good, smooth chewing is a pleasant outlet for pent-up tension. You naturally feel better when you're chewing. And the lively, refreshing flavor of Wrigley's Spearmint leaves a fresh, clean taste in your mouth. So enjoy chewing Wrigley's Spearmint Gum often, every day. Get a few packages of this healthful, delicious treat next time you go to the store. Now let's turn to page two of Luigi Basco's letter to his mother in it. And I saw Mamma Mia. Was a five a days I'm a working at Daisy Jones Pie Company. $25 I'm a got already for the thanks to giving a dinner for Pasquale and the whole class. I'm going to have a big feast. Like they say in America, Ellie, you go nuts. <laughs> oh, pardon me, are you Mr. Luigi Basco? Yes, sir. That's I'm. How are you feeling, Mr. Basco? I'm feeling fine. How are you feeling? Very well, thank you. Mr. Basco, I'm the truant officer from Public School 23. <laughs> oh, excuse me. I'm going to go back to bed again. Why? My grip is starting to grab. <laughs> Mr. Basco, before you knew who I was, you told me you felt fine. Yeah, but I'm a talking to you as a friend. I'm going to like to tell my trouble to strangers. Well, you look perfectly healthy to me. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm, I'm a very sick. I'm going to pens into my head and my chest is all a choke up and my stomach is a weak and, and my feet is a killing me. Mr. Basco, you should be in bed. See, even if you agree with me. <coughs> All the week, all the, all the week, I'm a, I've been a sick, and it's a catching. Oh, may I have the name of the doctor who treated you? Why, you got a grip or two? No. This is for the records. What's your doctor's name? I'm a no no. You don't know? Well, surely you must know his name. What do you call him when you speak to him? Doc. <laughs> Mr. Basco, who do you think you're kidding? You haven't been to school for five days. Now, if you claim you've been here, then tell me. Who is Daisy Jones? Daisy? What? Oh, please, please, Mr. Hooky Officer. I'm, I'm in a trunk. I know you don't believe me. But a Daisy Jones, she's not a she, she's a he. What do you mean? Well, she's a six feet tall, got a mustache, and her real name is a Clarence Cucundola. <laughs> Hello, Schultz's delegatessen here. Schultz, you gotta help me out. Help you out? Luigi, you want I should come over with a stretcher? No, no. No, Schultz, I'm in a terrible trouble. Huh? I'm not sick. Hmm? I'm working nights, stacking up with the pies like your mama used to bake. But a truant officer is gonna throw me out of school because he's an unbeliever. Daisy Jones is a really the clan, Clarence, the Clarence, the Duke and the dollar. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, are you holding the phone yourself or are your arms strapped to the side of the bed and a man in a white uniform is helping you? No, sure, sure, please. This is not time for jokes. Tell him, Miss Balding, what I'm just to tell you. Are you kidding? Then strap me to the side of the bed. <laughs> Why don't you tell her yourself? 
I'm going to try to get it on the telephone, but there's no answer. Tonight is the last night in the pie factory. And I'm going to have to come for my money. Sure, so please, I promise you tell her I'm a no mentor to play hooky. All right, I'm going to tell her. <laughs> oh, thanks, sure. She's sure, really a friend. Well, let me see. You're not playing hooky because Daisy Jones went out with a truant officer whose name is Clarence. <laughs> Schimmel, now you got me all for Schimmels. No, sure, so listen, I'm a fine job and it's in a pipe factory. <laughs> Good evening, Miss Paulding. Oh, Mr. Orth, what a pleasant surprise. The principal, she calls a pleasant surprise. <laughs> Miss Spaulding, has Mr. Basco been absent all week? Well, yes, six days to be exact. He's had the grip. Not according to the truant officer's report. Why, I didn't even know he was being observed. Well, there's a report in on him, and it recommends Mr. Basco be expelled from school. What? No, 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 you're no. hanging an innocent man. <laughs> Please, Mr. Shaw. Oh, Miss Spaulding. Just a little while ago, Luigi called me on the telephone. He can straighten the whole thing out when we all come to the Thanksgiving dinner. You mean he hasn't really been ill? No, no, please, let him tell it. I know he was absent from the goodness of that little Wiener Schnitzel's heart. He wanted to make money to make a dinner for his friend Pasquale. How can you do anything to a man like that, Mr. Roth? Well, as far as I'm concerned, it's even worse. Right here on the report is the name of the complainant, Mr. Pasquale. Pasquale snitched on Luigi. Oh, so that's who it was. Ah. Uh, that's life for you. A poor innocent turkey gets its head chopped off, and Pasquale is allowed to walk around free. <laughs> well, it's hard to believe that Mr. Basco would work to make a party for Mr. Pasquale. It certainly is. Good night, Miss Spaulding. Class? Good, Good night. night. Good night. It's hard to believe, Miss Spaulding, but you can always believe the hardest from Luigi. Well... I am not going to the party at all. For Pasquale, never. Fine Thanksgiving it will be for Luigi, huh? I'm a Pasquale, I'm, a, I'm a not going to explain it. I'm a feel it terrible. All the time I'm a plan is a big party. Now is more than an hour. We're wet and nobody's a come. I tell you why nobody's a come. First of all, why Rose is not to come. And she's afraid she's going to be embarrassed by the presence of some other female girl. What? That's right. And the United School of Shipmates. Well, they ain't come to anybody's house who's going to be thrown out of school. What do you mean, Pasquale? Luigi, you got to put your cards on the table. That's why they say life is like a game of canazza. <laughs> Spades ain't the clubs, the spades is the trumps, and I'm putting my cards on the table. Here, just read this letter. Board of Education, Mr. Pasquale, sir, thank you. Information on Basco investigated. Wow. Truant, principal recommended he be expelled. Expelled? Pasquale, you did this. That's all right. That's why your friends ain't here. You thought you were going to put one over on me. How huh? will I turn around at the table? Yeah, but why, why, Pasquale, why? Why? I tell you why. Where's Mr. Daisy Jones? Where? In a pie factory. Pie factory? What are you talking about? So you're the one who's started this. Uh, Pasquale, I'm, I'm the one to surprise you with this. Thanks for giving a party. Because you always make one for me. So, so I'm, 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 I'm got a job of working the nights in the Daisy Jones a Pike Company just to, to make enough money to give you the pipe. Luigi, you mean Daisy Jones uh, and a girl? She's a pie. <laughs> That's right. Oh, Luigi, I don't deserve to live. Kill me, hang me. Here, take this drumstick and beat me to death. <laughs> no, Pasquale, Pasquale, what, no, no, what are we going to do? Now I know why nobody's a-coming. They want to stay away from me. Oh, I wasn't I born a twin, so at least the one of me would have some brains. <laughs> oh, Himmel, just in time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, we thought we would get here too late. We would find you had all taken the gas pipe. <laughs> Give it to me, I'll take it. Well, you should. I'm a spoiling uh, Miss Balling, I'm the one explaining. Mr. Basco. Oh, that's oh, a, a Mr. Ort, the principal. I wanted to come here and tell you myself. Rules are rules, it's true, but sometimes they're a higher thing. What would the world be like without a little understanding? Without a little forgiveness? Oddly enough, 
I investigated the whole thing myself after breakfast. It all started when I said to my wife, Honey, this pie tastes like Mother used to make. And guess what? What? It turned out to be from the Daisy Jones Pie Company. Oh, <laughs> <very funny. laughs> yeah, but those are pies, eh? Is it like a Clarence a Cucumber doll he used to make? Luigi, don't start to for shimmer again. <laughs> come on, everybody, let's eat. The turkey is getting impatient. Come on, come on, come on. All right, now, wait. Uh, well, we all around the table, huh? Hey, Pasquale, wh- wh- what about you? You, you still want me, Luigi? There's the place, Pasquale. Right up on the head of the table. Now, and under the plate, you're going to find a dunce cap. <laughs> In honor of Thanksgiving, I say Pasquale should get hit over the head with Plymouth Rock. I deserve it. All right, now wait, 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 wait. Well, before we eat, we got to say grace. Luigi, please, could I say it? Well, that's, that's just what I want to, Pasquale. Surely you're the guest of honor. Come on, come on, go ahead. Thanks. Well, uh, I want to thank God for this beautiful dinner he's given us on this day. I thank him for the turkey, for the bread, the soup, the fruit, and a special. I thank him for this crazy little banana nose sitting here by my side, Luigi. <laughs> So, Mamma Mia, I had a wonderful Thanksgiving after all. The party was a turn out to be a big success. Now I'm a little tired, Mamma Mia. But before I'm going to sleep, I want to tell you that a Thanksgiving, that's a day to say thanks. And I'm thankful for, for a lot of things. But the biggest thing I'm thankful to is America. For a taking in... Your loving son, Luigi Basco, the little immigrant. Folks, the makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum hope you've enjoyed tonight's episode of Life with Luigi. And they want to remind you that it's a good idea to keep a few packages of Wrigley's Spearmint Gum handy around your home. When youngsters want a treat or when friends drop in, just open a pack or two of Wrigley's Spearmint and pass it around. Just about everybody enjoys chewing this delicious gum, and folks appreciate your thoughtfulness when you offer them a stick. Remember, too, Wrigley's Spearmint Gum is an inexpensive treat. Spreads a lot of enjoyment at a small cost. So for your own enjoyment... And for your family and friends, always keep plenty of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum handy. The makers of Wrigley's Spearmint Chewing Gum invite you to listen next week at this time when Luigi Basco writes another letter to his Mama Basco in Italy. Life with Luigi is a Cy Howard production and is directed by Mr. Howard. Mac Benoff writes the script with Lou Dermott. J. Carol Nash is starred as Luigi Vasco with Alan Reed as Pasquale, Hans Conrad as Schultz, Mary Schiff as Miss Spaulding, Joe Forte as Horowitz, and Ken Peters as Olsen. Music is under the direction of Lud Glass. Bob Stevenson speaking. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System.